Bom dia, Mundu. It's extremely windy this morning. All the trees are blowing quite hard to the left and it's actually very bad conditions for possible spreading of fires. So I hope that there's no problems with that. I read the other day that with the increase in temperature being this warm in October, plus the heavy winds is not a good combination for forest fires. I think it's gonna be a subject that's on our mind all the times now. We're packing up the car because we're on our way to Vizel to do some shopping. Story is already asleep in the car, so I'm gonna try and get in nice and calmly. Don't wake her up. There she is, sleeping soundly. And slowly does it. We are on our way to Vizel. There is lots of burnt trees up here as well. Pretty sure this road would have been closed the night of the fire as well. So there really was no escape for us, Jay. I know, north or south no. on this road, you would have been stuck. Yeah. It's quite a pretty drive to Vizel because you go towards the mountains, towards Serra de Estrella. I think we've said before, but we are the same distance pretty much to Vizel as we are to Coimbra but we just tend to go to Queenborough more often. <laughs> there is a good shopping centre in Vizel though and there's also a lovely little town part as well and some parks. So it is a nice area. We're going back to the shop today though because we ordered the Stories gift online and hopefully, hopefully it will arrive with good time. <laughs> it should be here in two days and it's a week till Story's birthday so we should be good. We are now heading to get some bits to kind of Pimp, out, pimp it out a bit, <laughs> like some cushions to go in the teepee and stuff and make it look pretty for her and also I need another cake ingredient that I forgot to get when we were in Creamer the other day. Hi Story, you just woken up from your nap. Story actually had a really lovely sleep last night, she went to bed at about 20 past 7 and she didn't wake up during the night and she woke up this morning at um, 7.45. <laughs> So that was a really nice sleep and it was good for us because we've had a few broken nights this last week with Story. Yesterday morning I was up at 5.15 with her so we've had some sleep loss <laughs> so it was nice to have a bit of a lay in this morning. Right, we are here. This is where we parked, right in front of a vineyard. Off we go Bean! Hello in there. Sasha's just noticed they've got a boutique spa for doggies over there. It's nice. It's massive this place, isn't it? Yeah. It's like seven floors. <laughs> first stop, food. And I believe we've discovered vegan croissants. They're made with margarine, aren't they, Sesh? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. It's a vegan on the label. That's good. That's all we need, really. Just a couple of options when we go to cafes so we can make a choice that we want to stick to. It's not hard to make a croissant with margarine instead of butter. Still is getting ready for her soy formula. <laughs> okay, hours later, all the shopping is done. <laughs> yep. Story's very happy because she's got mummy's wallet. <laughs> Look at that smile on her face. <laughs> well, she just loves playing with those little tassels on the yeah. end, she? <laughs> I can honestly say this is the most successful shopping mall trip we've ever done. We went in and came out with exactly what we were looking for. <laughs> that very, very rarely happens with us, doesn't it, Seth? Yep, and without any arguments. No arguments at all, no. Yeah, we got everything we wanted. <laughs> Yeah, people probably find it quite an alien concept of us arguing, <laughs> wouldn't they? Yeah, we do. Shopping <laughs> irritates us both, so yeah. we're both in an irritated state. <laughs> Especially if we're hungry. Yeah. You can sit with all your goodies, Story. All your gifts. Little do you know, this is all for you. Oh. Is. <laughs> <laughs> and we met one of our viewers today, Vinny. Hi Vinny. <laughs> we had a long chat in the store, didn't we? Yeah, and we agreed to meet up again, swap numbers, all good, making friends. <laughs> but they've just recently moved to Vizel, him and his wife, about less than two months ago. And he said that he's discovering the area and when they find some nice places, we'll meet up again, go have a coffee, have a chat, be nice. 
We bought ourselves some healthy snacks for the way home. Got these toasted coconut chips. Haven't had them since Thailand. No. And also these rice crackers with carrot flavour, is it? Yeah, I thought they'd be nice for Story to have some as well. Yeah. And some red quinoa. Hmm, we don't find quinoa in our shop, do no, we? we? No, we don't. And this is red quinoa. And we also got these ground linseed as well, didn't we? Yeah, we can't get these in our shop either. Linseeds is new part of our diet recently, isn't it? They're like a superfood, you should look into that. <laughs> it's really good. Linseeds and flax seeds are the same thing. You can buy them in their full form in our store, but you need them to be ground to get the benefits from them. And we don't have a grinder fine enough, so to be able to buy them like that is good. The store is playing with a little crunchy book. We are heading home now. It is 26 degrees out there. It's rather warm in the car. The AC hasn't kicked in yet. But 26 degrees in late October is pretty good. Just behind this truck here, it's reminding us of our time in Thailand. I'm not even sure if these bags are secured in. Right, we're home. Story had a little nap on the way back, so she's good now. She can do some playing before her dinner time. And I fancy a cup of tea. Aiden, who's that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Have you done out there already? That was very quick. <laughs> Is there music playing in your story? Maybe. It's your new moves. So go on, you ready? <laughs> Story is absolutely loving the 8-bit sound of an artist called The Fat Rat right now. So we've just got a playlist up called 20 Best The Fat Rat Melodies. <laughs> and she's just grooving. You off to get ready for bed with Dada? I think it's about time. Yeah. And while Jay does that, I'm gonna warm up her bottle. And then I'll be good to start on mine and Jay's dinner. I am gonna cook a chickpea curry tonight because we haven't had it for quite a while because our little supermarket ran out of coconut milk. <laughs> I think we bought them all. <laughs> but they are back in stock and we're good to go on the chickpea curry front. I think who I've just spotted down there. There's all. And also the moon is out. Right, we've got a perfect bottle. Ooh, here's your bottle. Story's in bed. Eden's going crazy. She wants to go outside, I presume. Away she goes into the garden. We're going to try this quinoa vermelia. Red quinoa, looks like that. And that is the red quinoa with the chickpea curry. It actually looks a lot like the red rice we used to eat in Thailand, except probably much healthier. I used to hate quinoa. <laughs> Didn't you? I didn't really used to have it, so. My tastes have changed so much over the years. I didn't have any feelings about quinoa. Mm. I used to hate coffee, can you believe that? I used to hate olives. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm checking to see if it's working. Decent link? It's alright. Okay, that's what we're going to be doing tonight then, watching American Made. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, looks pretty good. And what you should be doing is becoming an 8 miler because there's now 145 people competing for a chance to win a 7 night stay in South Portugal. Two amazing villas. If you haven't seen what we're doing yet, click the link up here and check the video out where we explain what we're doing. It's a really, really nice place to stay and... They both are. They're both lovely. Yeah. Don't miss out on it. It's really good. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow for more adventures. Bye! Bye. Whoever wins to stay at the villa might get to meet me. Oh my god.